Hey guys, we are at Fulcrum. This time we are getting a GVM upgrade. GVM upgrade. Well, obviously our house lives on the back of our car, so we're gonna have to have our car more than capable of getting oh, anywhere we want it. Yeah, <laughs> and holding everything we have. So we're here at Fulcrum. We're gonna run you through all the level stuff that they put in. We don't really know what they're doing, so we're gonna learn it and explain it to you. Let's go have a look. But before we get into today's video, if you could hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and even leave a comment, that would be really, really appreciated. Before we start talking about the suspension and the GVM upgrade there was a couple of I guess misconceptions and things that we didn't know about before installing a, having a GVM upgrade installed into our car one of the big things was the axle weights now you can have your suspension and that can hold a certain amount it's usually advertised on their the suspension suppliers website saying this GVM can give you up to 3600 kilograms that might not always be the necessary information that you should take on board because your axles of your cars can only hold so much legally. What we found out is that our rear axle, obviously because our canopy sits over our rear axle, that the rear axle can only take a certain amount of weight. Therefore, no matter how big you put your GVM upgrade on, the rear axle can only legally hold a certain amount. That's when we kind of ran into some issues. When you get your GVM upgrade, one of the big parts of it is enabling your rear axle to carry more. The way they do this is Lovells have actually tested the braking points of all the rear axles in all the cars and they know that from an engineer's point of view it can actually carry a higher weight than what is in like stock illegal stock legal therefore an engineer will come out and he will badge the car saying that the rear axle on this car Mazda BT50 in our case can actually carry more than when it comes out of the factory there's no actual modifications done to the axle but they're just saying that they've done testing and then it can actually carry more therefore your suspension parts of GVM upgrade are actually then you can utilize them. It still has a limit though. So even if you get a GVM upgrade of, again, let's say 3,600 kilograms, if you're loading up a heap on the rear part of your canopy or your tray or whatever, or with a caravan, your rear axle still has a limit and that is lower than your GVM and it all depends on where you place everything on your car. So just because you have a GVM upgrade or you've got upgraded suspension for some cases, then you may still be reaching your axle limit. This is something we had no idea about and the axle limit's obviously lower than your GVM. We had a good chat to the guys at Fulcrum and they taught us all this stuff. So now we can actually get into the actual GVM suspension side of things, but that's something really important to know. All right, so here is all the stuff that's going into the car. And onto. Onto the car, <laughs> under the car. Um, and we're just gonna get some explanation of what each thing does. Yeah, mate, take it away. The shocks are pretty standard. It's still just a, a normal replacement, just like yep. our rears here. Just designed a bit more for carrying that load that we're putting into that vehicle. Yep. Same with our coils, they're just going to have a spring rate that's designed for what we're carrying. Sure. Um, same with our leaf springs, really, that is our coil of the rear. Yep. They're a lot thicker, um, and there's usually more of them. Yep. They've got a different sort of design to them as well, less of a curve, so they're a bit flatter there. Yep. And um, it is because we're now carrying more weight. Right. So that's what we're upgrading, really, to help um, with our GVM. Sure. What's the difference between the curved ones and the two flat ones? Uh, so we've got primaries and secondaries, right. um, and that's what um, determines how much we can carry and how much it's going to travel or flex as yeah, well. Okay. Um, depending on what combination you have as to whether it's going to flex more or be able to hold the weight you want to carry. Yep. And on the front shocks, yep. this thing here, that was the spacer? Yeah, so um, you can sort of fix it up to any height you want. You can go stock height yep. um, and by adding a few more or adding less than what this has, you can go um, higher or yep. lower. Yep. Um, Usually we'll be putting it up as a two inch lift yep, yep, because yep. everyone's wanting to travel like you guys sure. are doing. So um, it'll be a two inch lift, yep. but still has the right travel for that shot. Yep, yep. You're not going to be flogging it out too quick. Yep.
quickly and thoroughly they are changing everything out. Um, we're just doing the rear um, springs now. Um, they mark everything that they touch, every bolt that they screw on. Which just gives you that reassurance that everything's been checked twice. So we've got the new shockies in, we've got new leaves and the airbags in the well. So they said that they'll go through how to put the air in them and what PSI to run, so yeah, it's pretty crazy how much we just moved up. Yeah, it's heavy duty, like it's beefy stuff. Yeah, good quality, it's gonna do everything we need it to plus more, which is also exciting. So as we've said before, we're not putting all the mods on this build just yet. We'll run what we've got, and then obviously now with the GPM upgrade, we've got room to do those extras down the track. Winch? Winch, do you want to winch? I want side steps. We're getting nice yeah. Too. So yeah, lots of fun things to come, but couldn't be happy with what's happening now. Yeah, they know their stuff. know their stuff. You talk to anyone, and they'll explain it to you, so you understand it. Obviously, we're lucky enough to be in here watching them do it. Yeah, yeah. Mike is just he just knows everything. Yeah. Yeah. Another new thing that we didn't really know, um, and the guys here at Fulcrum have told us, is that when you go from a Category 5 to a Category 6, which is, I guess, the weighting of the car, um, I think it's, once it goes over, over 3,500 kilos, you need to replace your indicator lights on the side of your car. So if you're ever getting a GVM upgrade, I'm sure they'll tell you, but that's a brand new thing we've learned. It needs to be a brighter uh, indicator, So, or you can get clear view mirrors which have the big indicator on there. So in this case, we're just up, upgrading the little indicator, um, which I'm sure Megan showed you. Yes, which they're doing for us, which is amazing. Yeah. All the suspension is in, rear, front, uh, everything has been upgraded. They're just at the moment doing the wheel alignment. So this is to, yeah, I guess, make sure once they've put everything in, it all is lined up well. And if it's not, they'll adjust it as they go. Our cambers are the lean in the wheels this way. Yep. Our caster, um, we have a caster split that's positive because our left wheel is further forward than our right. Yep. Not visually, but by hands, it's our left wheel is further forward and that's for the slope of the road. Yep, yep, that's yep. That's why yep. we set it up so that that sits further forward. And then our toe adjustment is um, something that's going to be separate. Um, we adjust the other two by our lower arms. Yep. Our toe is adjusted by our tie rod. Yep, yep, gotcha. What are we aiming for here? Like, are we aiming for anything in particular? Um, it's all relative, I guess, to who aligns your car and yes. where you're aligning it for. Okay. Um, my ballpark would be around that negative 0.3 or 0.25. Um, yep. Again, this is going to change from car to car uh, because yep. of the geometries yep. and what you use it for. Yep. Um, but, yeah. In relation to what you guys do, we'll be setting it up with that little bit of camber yep. um, just to help with cornering so your wheels aren't leaning over yep. and putting a heap of caster into it because you guys are doing a lot of driving. So yeah, on the yeah. highway, having that caster forward, it helps yep. with going yep. down the road. So. So that's a wrap on our GVM upgrade video. I guess the biggest thing that we learned from this is that things like your rear axles are really important when deciding on a GVM upgrade. And I guess the bigger thing and the most important thing is to talk to a specialist. The guys at Fulcrum are amazing. They really know their stuff. They take it through you thoroughly step by step. We have a lot more coming. There's a few things they did in the front that we're gonna show you very, very soon, which is really important if you own a Isuzu D-Max or a MUX or a Mazda BT50. So you should definitely stay tuned for that one just want to say a big thank you to the guys at fulcrum suspensions both the teams in stafford and cooper's plains did an awesome job we really appreciate all their hard work thank you for watching please subscribe like comment um, we've got cool stuff coming up we hit the road again so make sure you are watching